what's good y'all uh, welcome to my channel I'm guessing you want to pass NCLEX I'm here to help you do that and I'm gonna jump right in because I personally hate when I click on a YouTube video and there's like a 10 minute intro so what I used to pass NCLEX in 75 questions was you world and some lectures that I will talk about um, in the end so starting with you world um, so you world is like 95%, 98% of what I used to pass in CLEX. Um, and honestly, I think most of my class did the same. So before I even graduated my program, I was looking up, you know, what sources people were using to study. There's ATI, there's Saunders, there's Kaplan. Some people do their own little thing. They just do random practice questions from everywhere every day. Um, and my school did have ATI review. So once we finished classes, we did four days of the ATI lab review, which was cool, but um, I knew that I personally needed more to feel confident in passing in class. So in the school in August, I took, I'd say maybe a good amount of time to not study. So once I graduated, I kind of just chilled a little bit. I would like do some content stuff, but not much. So I didn't actually purchase UWorld until September 13th. Um, and within that month, I was like looking up like ways to pass NCLEX. I was watching other YouTube videos. I was on Reddit. Shout out to Reddit. I love Reddit. And almost, I don't want to say unanimously because nothing is ever unanimous, but almost 90% of the people were saying, I did you world. I put the time in and I passed. Like I passed very quickly. Now, disclaimer, of course, you don't have to pass in 75. In fact, it doesn't matter if you pass in 75 or 265. I personally just did not feel like sitting there for six hours or whatever. And I would just rather have the peace of mind, although you never really have peace of mind until you know you pass. But I was like, I would if I could pass my NCLEX in 75, I would love that. I also do not have a lot of patience in terms of like sitting down. Like I can't sit down for that long. And so um, almost everyone was like, get you world, get you world. Now, does you world cost? Yes. Um, so there are three different packages, I believe. Um, the shortest amount is 30 days. And that's, I want to say, around 100, but you don't get a practice test. So I didn't want that because I wanted the practice test. So I had to go to the next level up, and I got the 60-day package with one self-assessment. Now, um, I knew I only needed a month to study, and that's something you'll have to decide for yourself. I just felt like the more time I had, the more... The, the less info I would retain. Too much time. It's kind of like I don't. I don't need all that. Um, and I did want to practice test, so I stuck with that one, even though um, the sixty days was way too much. And in total, that was one hundred sixty-two dollars and thirty-seven cents. So, did I want to pay that money? No. But the reason I chose U World and I chose to pay over some cheaper options is that I would rather spend the money and have very very high confidence that I would pass like on multiple levels I could not afford to take this test over one I literally did not want to pay the $200 if I failed to take it over and two the longer I did not pass the NCLEX is the longer I don't have the license number the longer I'm not working as an RN and I did all of this to become an RN right so I was like all right you're not about to take this test more than once there's no problem with doing that I personally just didn't want to do it um, and I wanted to just do it in one shot and feel prepared. So I was like, you know what? My classmates, a lot of them had do you world, did you world. A lot of people on YouTube did. A lot of people on Reddit. So September 13th was when I bought um, you world, and I took my NCLEX October 4th. Um, I passed, and um, I do believe you world helped immensely. So basically, you world is in like a computerized database of questions so when you buy it um, you can use it on your laptop or desktop you can also get the app and use it on your phone or tablet 
So when I bought it, I immediately got the app for the phone because I knew I would mostly be using it on my phone. It's just quicker, easier. Um, I commute to work, so that's at least two hours a day I could be doing you work on my phone. So with my package, I think I got like 2,000 questions and then one practice assessment. So because I had one practice assessment, I decided to save that until I was like a few days before taking my NCLEX. I guess you could use it in the beginning or the middle, but that didn't make any sense to me because like if I use it in the beginning, my hope and my assumption is that I'm getting better as I go. So I would, if I took it in the beginning, I would not be able to gauge where I was at the end, but you can do what you want. But you know, I took it at the end. So I had three weeks basically, three full weeks. And the first few days, I kind of eased myself into U World. I did like 20, maybe 30 questions a day. With U World, they have all these categories adult health, pediatrics, um, and then deeper subjects, analgesics, um, ethics, I think. Reno, like you can go into every system and create your own test. What I would do is, for the most part, I always picked all the subjects I wanted to mix because I figured that would be like the NCLEX and you can create um, 10 question tests you can create create 75 the highest you can go is 75 so each day I would do at least the first week I did at least 20 questions of mixed subjects and that just got me thinking like into the habit of answering these questions now my first few scores were like in the 40s 50s don't be alarmed like on the actual NCLEX, they're only expecting you to get above the average, which is like around the 50s. Don't quote me on this, but like you're not looking to get 100 on the NCLEX. If you do, that's great. But one, you would never find out because <laughs> they don't give you a number for score if you pass. And two, it's like, you know, if they don't expect you to get flying colors, then, you know, just show what you can do. You don't need to go all out. Um... So honestly, throughout the whole thing, my average, my averages honestly range from like 35 to 85. And um, so the first week I did 20 questions at least. And then when I would get home from work, I would try to do a 75 question quiz. Now what's key about NCLEX, I mean, what's key about UWorld is reading the rationale and understand them. Some people would write them down, like in the beginning I wrote them down, but honestly that was too time consuming. And some of these days I was coming home from work tired and studying and I was like, you know what, let me just do these questions. And however you, um, however you best commit uh, information, not just to memory, but however, however you understand information or process information, that's the word I was looking for, that's how you should do it. For some people, it's writing. For me, even sometimes concepts that I wanted to stick with me, I would like type it in my notes app on my iPhone. Um, and then also some con most of these concepts we've all seen in our nursing career. So that's one point I wanted to make. Like technically, it's like, did I pass NCLEX after studying for three weeks? Yes, but really, most of this con these things. I've learned at school, you've seen these concepts over and over, and they just presented differently, maybe on NCLEX. So, I've had um, more than three weeks of preparation, technically, but for the NCLEX specifically, it was three weeks. It's definitely doable. So, the first week, I took it easy. The second week, um, I ramped it up. I was trying to do 100 plus questions a day. Um, and if there was a subject I felt I was weak on, like for some reason endocrine, like with diabetes, I knew like the back of my hand just because like my med surge professor like went in with diabetes. Um, but like other endocrine stuff, like I don't know, Addison's cushion, I don't know. I needed to brush up on that. So instead of doing a mixed bag subject, I just did endocrine tests and like 20 questions. 20 different questions over and over until I started getting the concept. So with you world, you can mix and match. Some people did only targeted. So one day they would do all P's questions. Another day they would do all um, farm questions. Another day they would do psych, you know? And that worked for some people. I just chose to mix it up. Um, so the third week I actually was out of the country. I was on vacation. Um, and you know, when I went on vacation, I was like, 
you're gonna stick to your your hundred questions a day. I did not do that. I did maybe the whole trip, maybe like thirty questions, and I felt bad. So when I came back from my vacation, like the few days leading up to the test, I went ham. But again. I knew that I had a lot of free time. I purposely didn't make a lot of plans for that week before. And um, two days before the test is when I took the practice assessment. And that one is more similar, more closely resembled to NCLEX in that you don't get the rationales or your score until the end. It's 100 questions. It is timed. And I think I scored 73rd percentile, so that's a very high chance of passing. Um, so once I did that, I was like, okay, I feel okay. Um, the day before the NCLEX, a lot of people say don't study. No, I started to panic, and that is when I um, re—I went over some content. Um, and that's when I used the Mark Clemick lectures. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I'll post it below. And those lectures are key for content. And I wish I had listened to those during my actual schooling because a lot of concepts would have been made clear to me. But um, he is like a beast at explaining key concepts, like succinctly and in ways that you can remember. Like the Addison's and Cushions, I don't know why those two, like it was giving me trouble. Like when I listened to his endocrine lecture, I was like, makes so much sense and he had he did a cardio lecture so he talked about like EKGs which are important um he did like um I think the ABGs one electrolyte balance he did maternity and OB which is a subject that um scares a lot of people um and yeah he has lectures I would say that's good for if you want to go over content and again um when I was traveling, those were perfect. Like in the airport, I wasn't about to do questions, so I just let the lectures play, and I would take notes on my notes app as I was listening. So, um, those are the two things I used: U World, which I highly, highly suggest, and the Mark Clinic lectures. Um, you definitely can pass in class on the first go. You can definitely pass in seventy-five. Doesn't matter if you pass in 75, no, but again, I am impatient, so I wanted to, and I'm also just a quick test taker, so don't even worry about how long it takes you to pass. You'll pass if you um, put the work in, and um, yeah, happy studying. Um, can't wait for you all to be RNs, and let me see if I left out any info. I think I covered everything. I gave you the price self-assessment um, yeah it's definitely worth them again like over a hundred dollars is a lot to spend especially if you're only using it for three weeks like I did but it's worth it you got to think about it like would you rather spend less money I'm not saying you'll fail if you don't use you world that's not what I'm saying but you know if you know you can pay a certain amount <laughs> and you have a very high chance of passing and for something so important like this is in class it's not like something random you know if this was something random I probably wouldn't be spending the money but it's very important to me and I was just very excited to finally be an RN and get out there and start working so I bit the bullet, the bullet and I bought it um I would highly recommend you world that's the point of the video and the Mark Clinic lectures. Um, I am curious if you did pass in 75, like what are some other sources you use? Like let me know below. Um, I am curious like about the other sources people used. Um, subscribe, I'm gonna do more nursing videos, maybe some random ones and happy studying. Thanks for watching.